good evening everyone so in this lecture we are going to deal with the bipolar junction transistor operation and some applications etc <coughs> so bipolar junction transistors are basically two types that is npn and pnp transistors now before starting with the operations so we have to discuss why it is called bipolar junction transistor so generally the moment bipolar junction transistor comes in our mind so what we will take is so there are two junctions so that is emitter based junction collector based junctions that's why it is called bipolar junction transistor so actually that is not the uh, correct way in bipolar junction transistor the both electrons and holes will be participated in the current conduction right so that's why it is called so bipolar means two polarities both polarities will participate in the current conduction either holes as well as electrons that's why it is called bipolar junction transistor anyway there will be two junctions but that, that is not the reason why it is called bipolar junction transistor <coughs> uh, so that is the first point we have to remember next is so there will be emitter and base and collector so why the names also given there is a reason <coughs> emitter will emits either electrons or holes if it is a pnp it will emits holes or if it is np it will emits electron base is it's like a only channel so it is only allowing this number of electrons into the collector so it will be like a channel between these two <coughs> the last one is collector which will collect the either electrons or holes now in this n type semiconductor the majority carriers are electrons minority carriers are holes similarly for p type majority carriers are holes minority carriers are electrons in n type collector majority carriers are electrons minority carriers are holes now we have to remember or uh, we have to know this emitter is heavily doped highly doped or heavily doped and moderate width or moderate area will be there what is the reason why it is highly doped is it's a source of either electrons or holes so whenever it is heavily doped so it will provide so many number of electrons or holes for current conduction so that's why it is, should be very highly doped and uh, area wise it will be moderate right or width wise it is moderate compared to these two next base base should be very low doping because suppose these electrons are coming into the p type semiconductor this number of electrons will try to recombine the holes so number of holes will be very small then less recombination will happen we will get more current if more recombination you will get we will get less current so that's why it should be low doping and area wise it should be very small compared to these two because again the same reason less for less recombination purpose next one is collector collector should be moderately doped because it should collect the electrons coming from the emitter so it is only collecting so it is not required for heavy, heavy doping or low doping it should be moderate similarly there should be a large width one reason is to collect the number of electrons coming here and to reduce the to reduce the power dissipation to reduce the power dissipation so reason is like this now whenever it is collecting the more number of electron the current will be increasing whenever current increases i into v will increase so whenever power dissipation increases heat will increase now if this much area is there so there is a high heat or very uh, temperature will be very high now if we spread spread this area into this so the temperature also will be spread so by that conditions we can say the power dissipation we can reduce by spreading the uh, the temperature so that is the reason the collector width will be very high or large next we have to see what are the operation modes operating modes in bjt so there are th two junctions emitter base junction collector base junction so we will get four conditions so both can should be reverse bias both can be one can be forward bias one can be reverse bias both can be forward bias and one reverse bias one forward bias depending on the operation we will see next if both reverse bias 
two junctions that will be cut off mode that means no current flows so it's a cut off if emitter based junction is forward bias collector based junction is reverse bias it will be in active mode why it is in active mode that will be see in the next coming uh, lecture next if both forward bias it is like a simply on switch that is it is saturation region uh, this the first one is the closed uh, open switch so cut off mode means open saturation mode means closed reverse active means opposite of the active region so in the active region we will get some gain right in a uh, reverse active mode we will get some attenuation actually here amplification here we will get attenuation so generally we will never use this so uh, active or uh, reverse active mode so generally we will use cut off mode saturation mode for switching purpose active region for the amplification purpose now we will see first the active region of operation then we will uh, clarify the cut off mode and reverse active or saturation <coughs> now for active region operation emitter based junction should be forward bias so if i am taking n p n n should be connected to negative terminal p should be connected to positive terminal then only it will be forward bias n n should be connected to positive p should be connected to negative so this will become reverse bias now how the current flows that we'll see but before that we have to see under no bias or no applied voltages so the behavior of the npn transistor will be like this so n p regions so whenever there is a highly doped uh, the electrons or uh, the n type semiconductor so there is a diffusion from this electrons from emitter to base so it will lose some the electrons here and here we will uh, it will lose some holes so that's why this is the forming of depletion region similarly collector bridge junction also will be there so depletion region under no bias so further movement of electrons and holes will be stopped by this this drift this is forming the electric field so there is a positive and negative charges so it, there will be a electric field will be generated so which will oppose the further movement of electrons and holes coming from the here to here so that's why the current will be zero in the under no bias or no applied voltages now we have to see when we apply something so what will happen actually so that we will see in the next video right